Love is the most important ingredient. And the love you hold in your heart as you cook for someone is what makes that food incredibly special. Hi everyone, I wrote my second book, Reckless in the Kitchen, A Year of Light, Laughter, Love, Oh, and Food. And it follows a calendar year uh, where Marcia and I celebrate all the holidays with all our, our family and friends. The reason why I wrote this book is when I wrote my first book, Getting Back to Me, it was finally in black and white, <laughs> for me anyways, of how I had used cooking to deal with my gender dysphoria. Um, now that I transitioned, I use cooking to celebrate all that's good in life. I wanted to have a series of video blogs with you guys and talk a little bit about the process of writing the book, but also to share recipes with you that didn't come out uh, in time <laughs> to make the print. One of these is this one. It's uh, a dog biscuit recipe because two of the most important creatures in my life are my doggies, Aria and Bella. At Christmas time, my sister Kimberly was watching them and she ran out of dog biscuits. So she came up with this recipe and we've since refined it. And we took a standard peanut butter cookie recipe and we switched it around and put in canned pumpkin instead of peanut butter. And what I like to do with my peanut butter cookies is do what I call the peanut butter cookie squish. So you bake them for half the time in a ball form and then squish. With me. like so. something I discovered along the way. I um, thought I invented until I saw that there's several dog products out there that do this, but uh, these are at least homemade, made with organic ingredients, is that my doggies just went through um, some kennel cough and they needed to take antibiotics. And if you've ever taken antibiotics, you know that you need to do them on a full stomach and same for doggies. So um, dogs usually hate pills. <laughs> Uh, mine do. They spit them out immediately and then you got to like pick them up off the floor and drool all over them. It's a big mess. Um, and then you have to shove them down their mouth. Or you could drop them in the middle like that. Um, this works for both the pill form and also the capsule form. When I really get crazy, I'll actually open up the capsule and pour the powder in, but you don't. sometimes it's, this is, will do the trick. I take a little bit of peanut butter, because what dog doesn't like peanut butter? and seal the deal. And the last tip for you dog owners is to put the peanut butter down side down so that their tongue gets on it and then they spend so much time trying to clear it out of their mouth that they chew everything up. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bunch of these and each time I'm gonna give you a little something something extra for coming. Please share this with all your friends and thank you for coming. Get reckless in the kitchen. <laughs>